Today is a little bit of a plant adventure day. I'm going to be exploring a few nurseries that I've never been to, I've never heard of. I literally just went on Google and looked up like plant stores, greenhouses, and picked a couple of the ones that seemed like they had the best reviews and potentially had house plants. And I always say, like you never know unless you try it out. So that's what I'm doing today and I have no idea how it's going to go. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I mean, I've done some of these types of shopping trips and they turn into some of my best, you know, knock on wood. So we'll see how it goes today. And if you're new, welcome. My name's Ashley. I'm a crazy plant lady. So if planty stuff brings a smile to your face, definitely subscribe. That way episodes will show up in your newsfeed. We also have a great community on Instagram and I post on there all the time, like cool planty reels and that kind of thing. Just a quick reminder, there is a way to purchase some of these amazing plants that I find while I am plant shopping. I have partnered up with one of my favorite local plant shops in Charlotte, North Carolina called Cactus Club. They have amazing plants listed on their website and they also are terrific at shipping. I've included a link in my description and a very small portion does go towards supporting my channel. So thank you so much as always for your support. So I'm excited. I'm at my first stop, which is Romance, Romance, Romance uh, Garden Center. So we'll see, it looks good. Like I see like a whole greenhouse and everything here behind me. So fingers crossed I have some house plants. And if not, I have, you know, other places I plan to go. So yeah, let's go check it out. Oh my gosh, the first thing I see is a gigantic Monstera Thai constellation, humongous ring of fire and philodendron Bertonet, and then over here is a philodendron silver sword. Um, yeah, I'd say that this was probably a lucky, <laughs> lucky um, choice. Oh my goodness, guys, like, is that? I literally almost didn't even come out to this place. I was like, I don't know. This is insane. Look at this philodendron silver sword. She's so beautiful. So I'll name off prices as I see them. They have all sorts of pots. I mean, they have house plants all throughout there too. Wow, this is crazy. I had no idea. All right, let's go for philodendron dark lord. Look at this, this is the largest dark board philodendron like i've ever seen this is such goals i wish my plant looked like this I'm trying to see a price um i don't even know if it's for sale okay it's 5.99 for 599 dollars for this one absolutely massive let's see how much the monstera this is a Monstera Thai constellation. Look how beautiful it is. <gasps> Those leaves are massive. Oh my goodness. It's $9.75. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. You know, and coming in hot with these like uncommon plants, they're going to be more expensive and they're literally so massive. They also have these beautiful ring of fire here. These are $3.75. These beautiful pothos are $9.99. So $10 for these really lovely plants. This is a pothos enjoy from the nice variegation on those leaves. This is a pothos jade, $10. Oh, and then this golden pothos is $8.99. These are nice sized ones. These are $24.99. Oh, look, we have, um, this looks like the Epipremnum pinnatum neon. This one looks like it's $29 for this one. And it has a few plants in the pot, which is really nice. I wonder if this is the same. This looks the same, like it has those long leaves. It's one of those newer Epipremnums on the market. $60 for this one that's on the moss pole. Pretty nice. And then we have a silver um, satin. $12.99 for that beauty. Look at this fiddle leaf fig. Just a stunner. And we have some Tradescantia here. 
um, $5.99. Five bucks for that. They have some Nanooks. The Nanooks are $12.99 and they're good size. There's some Ivy hanging out over here and this looks like a Diffenbachia. Yeah, Diffenbachia Panther, $34.99. Look at those leaves. I love the contrasting greens. And look, they have tons of poinsettias, but they do have beautiful houseplants mixed in. Like, how great is this place? Here we have some, looks like lemon lime philodendrons. I love the heart leaf shaped lemon lime philodendrons. I just can't get enough of it. $20 for those. Absolutely stunning. Oh, these look like they might be a Pink Princess philodendrons. Yes, they're 54. Look how huge they are. 54 for those Pink Princess. And are these Florida Glad Hands? Glad Hands philodendron. I wonder if that's Florida Green or if it's own its own type. I like the shape of those leaves. Look at that. How much are these? They are. 59 and this is the philodendron white knight 19 dollars guys look how humongous this is those are so big 19 dollars come get them oh my goodness they have some nice um some other lemon lime ones that aren't the heart leaf the small ones are 14 these might be moonlight we have some Birkins over here. $12.99. And this is Philodendron Revolution. They're $39. And then this is the Jungle Boogie. They have them here as Narrow Escape. Maybe that's another name for them, but they look like Jungle Boogies to me. Um, looking for a price, $26 on those. They're really big too. Oh look, Philodendron Stenobum. And this one is $69. I love that leaf shape. So beautiful. They have these huge Epipremnum Pinatum Albos. They're listed as $350. Look how big those leaves are. Just stunning. They have the bat flower here, $24.99. And this one puts out really interesting looking flowers that look like a bat. And then they have the olive tree here, 29 money tree. The lar larger ones are 19 and the smaller ones are $8.99. So beautiful. Here we have a false aurelia plant, 39 some peace lilies, $12.99. Ooh, okay, we have some ficus shiveriana. This one is 26. This is one of those newer ficus on the market. Then we have ficus elastica ruby, 14. Burgundy, here 24. Ficus altisma. 24. Ficus ginseng. Cute little bonsai looking guys. And then a little Ficus loratas here, 21. Ficus audrey, 34. Um, and then this ficus is called Ficus moclaim, 39. This is the beautiful philodendron BATA that has those orange stems. Looks a lot like the other one that we just saw, except the other one has green stems and the leaves are a bit smaller and, and slightly differently shaped than this one. These poinsettias are such a beautiful pink color. I'm just gonna kind of walk around. Some more of these ficus altismas, and then an Audrey and some little fiddles here. They range about $40. Oh, I see some big monsteras down there. Ooh, I love this, it may be I'm not sure what it is. It looks a little bit like a, um, like a Schifflera, maybe a different variety. I love how huge it is. It's so beautiful. And then over here we have some really big Monsteras and they are 34. Like, look how beautiful those are. I 
am obsessed. Oh my gosh, look, there's an Adansonii down there too. Do take a peek. Isn't this beautiful? Look, look what Adansonii can look like once like the leaves get big, if you allow it to climb. It just puts out these amazing, amazing leaves. Can't get enough. Some nice zebra plants here, $12.99. Um, and I never pointed out the Burl Marks philodendron over here. This plant is such a great house plant, the Burl Marks. So easy and grows really, really fast. Now I'm in this whole other area. I mean, it looks like I've just touched the tip of the iceberg when it comes to these plants. Um, so they have a philodendron stenobum here again, and it's 60. Was it 60 or 69? I can't remember. Uh, yes, uh, $70. Oh, this is cool. They have some of these propagation vessels and they have some little props going, silver sword. Little pothos, little burl marks, syngonium in there. Look how cute this place is. Are these cuttings? Look, they have the Epipremnum pinnatum albo cuttings here. I wonder if they sell the cuttings. Ooh, look at this alocasia. I wonder what kind it is. Wow, it's really nice. Little Monstera. Oh, look, they do. Guys, they freaking sell the cuttings. Houseplant cuttings for sale. Wow. Oh, look. All right, let's see what, we, let's see what they have. Poco, $6. Siltipicana, $12. Um, Golden Pothos, $3. Baltic Blue, $6. Tratoscantia, $3. Philodendron, Hartley, $3. Um, Rapid Forward to Cursifa 6, Syngonium, Lo Monstera, Try to see if there are any that are like a super good deal. I'd say this Epipremnum Pinatum Albo for 15 could be a good deal, and the Philodendron Silver Sword, like those are nice, um, nice size leaves, and always try to go for a top cutting. I love these little propagation stations. They're 34. Here. Choose your plant, check for prize, wrap roots gently, put in Ziploc bag. That's genius. I love that they have that option here. Oh look, this is what it looks like in here. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow, look at, wow, look at these aloe. They're humongous. I don't see a price on them. They have some nice spider plants here. These are 12. Oh my gosh, look at this sea glass um, heart. Aww. <laughs> they have some nice bromeliads, 12. Oh my gosh, look at this little pot. It's a hot air balloon. I really like that. Isn't that neat? This little hanging hot that's a hot air balloon. And then they have some bird ones. I'm not sure what that banging is. They must be working on something. Oh, look at the Rapid Florida Curse of Us. They have them set up in little gardens. This one's just chilling on its own. This is so pretty. Look at this. I'm telling you, the heart leaf, um, Lemon Lime Philodendron is so underrated. Look at that new growth. It's that beautiful peachy pink color. Uh, these moss poles are neat. This one even looks a little bit bendy. I love it. They have these, what look like rickrack cactus here. They're 39. And some more of these bromeliads are 10. Look at this fern. Oh my gosh, I love it. 
does not have any information. It's like, there's the cutest little stuff in every nook and cranny here. So it's easy to miss. This is a beautiful painted lady, it's 29. Oh look at the air plants. Just hanging out. Are those more cuttings? Oh, these are not for sale. They're rooting. Wow, look at this one. Curious what that is. Maybe an Adamsonii, maybe something else. Um, so we have some nice snake plants here. Taking a look. Is it 29 for this humongous Sayuri snake plant? Oh, they have some other, some nice whale fins. 34 for the whale fin. And each one has a couple of whale fin snake plants in there. Oh, and then they have little baby ones too. They are 19 for the baby ones. Some large Monstera dubias, um, 69. And I like that they're already potted up in a little terracotta pot. Those are nice too. Hmm. Ooh, I'm curious what kind of terrarium or smaller plants they have. They have a nice assortment. They have some aluminum plants here. Beautiful. Let me see how much these aluminum plants are. $4.99, I think. Or, I'm not sure. And we have some Pilea peperomioides, $5.99. All right, so these are probably all around $5.99 for the small ones there. We have another peperomia. Some of these aren't labeled. Yeah. $5.99 for the Tradescantia Nanook. This is an interesting one. This looks like a Geogenanthus. Yeah, Geogenanthus 29. Then they have um, some beautiful Rex begonias here. $5.99. Some Peperomias. They have a lot of Peperomias. I think this one is called Ecuador. I'm, like testing myself here. Yes, $10.99 on that one. Um, they have some beautiful Begonia Maculata Whitey Eye, 29. Some Stromanthi there. Oh, look, they have Alocasia Cupria. Uh, mine um, did so great uh, last year, and then it kind of went dormant in the winter and then it just never came back, and I'm so disappointed. But these Alocasia Cupria are just some of the coolest looking allocation. Let me see how much they are here. $19, guys, on those Alocasia cupria. This looks like it might have a little bit of variegation on there, on this Alocasia. I'm not sure. 34 on that one. I'm not sure what kind of, oh, Alocasia dragon's tooth. Very cool. And then we have silver dragon. Some nice sized silver dragon. They all look really healthy too. 19 on the silver dragon. Then they have some Calathea Zabrina. So velvety, $14.99. Some other gorgeous Calatheas. This is Calathea Vitala. And these little ones are $12.99. Oh, look. Here's that one alocasia that I saw they had potted up in the other area. Alocasia Dragon's Breath. <gasps> I haven't been really tempted by an alocasia in a while, but this one is beautiful. $39.99. I just love how long those, um, oh my gosh, how long those leaves are. But look what, I just interrupted myself because of all of these. <gasps> Coming into the philodendrons, oh my word. Okay, they have a xanthosoma and it's 20 Oh my goodness. Er, okay. Okay. $19.99 on this one. Shut the front door. What are you? And how do I get you to my house? $19.99. Pariso Verde. 
This is one of those that used to be so expensive that this year I'm seeing like really come down in price. They have some months, um, not monster, Philod Philodendron Gloriosum, but look. Is that anything? Like, look at them all. How much are these Philodendron Gloriosum? Curious. $19. And they're nice size Philodendron Gloriosums. Wow. Oh, and then up here they have some more of the Xanthosomas. They're um, $49. Keeping it going. All right, this looks like Fuzzy Petiole, but there's some that kind of look like that out on the market. Oh, yeah, it is Fuzzy Petiole. $14. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Philodendron Goldii. Oh my goodness, $14.99. They have the gorgeous silver sword here, $14.99. And the painted lady, $19. Uh, Philodendron BSEA. So beautiful, $19 on the Philodendron BSEA. <gasps> they have the Warshawesii Aurea. Wow. These plants, $39. When these leaves are mature, they are literally just like the most beautiful leaves. We have Homolonema, Monstera Deliciosas. Just so many beautiful plants. Oh, I even missed some up here. Um, oh my goodness, White Wizard. They're 179 for the big White Wizard. Adansonia here. Goodness me. This is insane. I'm so shocked. Are those? Yes, they have Astrophytum. How much are the Astrophytum? 18 for the beautiful Astrophytum. I've just been clenching my camera so tight, my hand is like numb. They have little lith, they have little baby lith ops. Look at these cacti. They're amazing. What else? Some really beautiful succulents like bro's tail. I like this one. Look at this. Ooh, so fuzzy. Oh, they have, um, string of turtles oh my goodness look at their orchids oh wow I love how they have them displayed I actually have this one I think it's called like tiny dancer or dancing orchid they're so beautiful Ooh, this one's really lovely just Oh, this one's called a um, snowflake. Snowflake orchid, mini snowflake. Sherry baby sweet fragrance. Let me give it a whiff. Oh, it does smell nice. Other side of cool. I like that they have the names here. Look at this, how it's a different color on the top and the bottom. Wow, so beautiful. Look at this one. Lava burst. I don't see the prices like just obviously. Oh gosh. Like, I'm a little bit of a bull in a china shop sometimes, so I don't want to like <laughs> mess anything up. I'm trying to look for a price on at least one of these so I can get a roundabout. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Hawaiian orchids, 35, literally in front of my face. <laughs> oh, they have some Hoyas. All right, let's take a peek at some of these Hoyas. This looks like Puba Calyx. 24, it says Carnosa. So, I don't know, 24. This one looks like Oh, it's a big pot. Heavy, I don't see a price on that one. Here we have a Macrophylla. 
and the macrophylla is 15. Oh, they have um, the cactus I love, which is the spiral cactus. I'm so curious how much they cost. Let me go over there really quick. They have some string of pearls here. Um, 16, absolutely beautiful. Oh, they have string of spades here as well. How much is the string of spades? Mm, 16. And then the string of hearts, 16 as well. So like all of these are 16. They have little Hoya Rotusa. I haven't seen those around in a while. 34. That was beautiful agave. All right, I'm so curious about the spiral cactus. All right, there's 70 for the cool spi um, spiral cactus. And these are the bunny ear Apuntias. It's a washing machine <laughs> that's making the, the noise. Wow. And they have the Bird's Nest Anthurium 26. Beautiful and huge. They do have a variety of fern. Um, looks like they have crocodile fern, green flame fern. That one's pretty cool, huh? And they have staghorn mixed in there. Really, really nice. That place was an absolute hit. I definitely had a haul, so I'm excited to share that with you at the end of the video. But now I'm at my next stop, which is Bo's Greenhouse and Farms. So I'm really curious to see what it's like. Like it looks so cute from the outside, driving in. They have all sorts of stuff here. So I'm excited to see what plants they have. Let's go. Succulents over 130 varieties. So I had to come and explore. Oh my gosh, it's just a huge greenhouse full of succulents. Wow. Oh my goodness. And I bet their house plants are in another section. So let's explore. Look, they have little bear paws. 849 for the variegated bear paws. They're so fat and juicy. <laughs> Look at the green ones. They're like so cute and fuzzy. Bear paws are probably my favorite succulent. Definitely in the top five favorite succulents of mine. Oh my gosh, look, this bear paws flowering. <gasps> I love it. And they have like humongous ones. Look how huge that is. I've never seen bear paws that big before. Oh, and look at this one. Okay, try to walk over here to show you guys. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> it's the biggest plot bear paws. It's $20 variegated bear paws. Great variegation. So beautiful. Now as I, I always kind of put a disclaimer when it comes to succulents and even cacti to like, I'm still learning and let me know if there's one that I glance over that is like a great find or something um, because I I'm interested and in, you guys are all so knowledgeable. So look at these. Oh my goodness, look how huge they are. Oh my word. Not sure what they are. Anet anemium, I think. I, I don't know, but look at these. Oh my word, so many cool ones. It looks like they have standard pricing. So four inch pot, six, to 850, six inch pots 19, eight inch pots 32 to 38, and 10 inch pots. You can see there, so that's good to know. And that's an easy way to do pricing. Get the ogre ears, I love how they have little red on the tips. Then I believe these are, okay, so Crassula ov ovata tricolor. Oh, that'll be so helpful if they have some of them labeled. Wow, something smells really good. Like uh, something must be flowering or blooming. It smells like Hoya blooms. <laughs> Is it these that smell so good? A little blooms. We... Maybe, I don't know. Crassula springtime is what those are called. This is the watch chain Crassula. And I've been seeing some variegated ones of these out and about as well. This is so cool. String of buttons. Hello. 
love it. Maybe this is what I'm smelling. Ooh, I love these. They look like big pieces of candy. <laughs> Very cool. They do have some like cacti mixed in here. I think this is golden barrel maybe. Look at that, oh my goodness. Wow, look how orange and beautiful that is. More of the variegated bear paws. These are called Devil's Backbone, and then we have um, Fire Sticks, Corn Cob, Euphorbia, Euphorbia Mammillaris. Look at that. Topsy Turvy Echeveria. This one's labeled Haworthia Pentagonia. Look at that. Wernia zebrina, little owl eyes. Sapelia gigantea, gigantea. Just kind of reading them off as I go. It's so helpful. Like I love learning all these cool varieties. Graptocetum bronze over here. California sunset. Grap okay, this is ghost plant. Interesting. Darley Sunrise, new for 2023, it says over there. Wow, I am obsessed with this one. I've never seen anything like it. It is so fuzzy and then it has like really, really, okay. I'm literally obsessed with this. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful in person. It looks like velvet. And it's a four inch pot, so it'll be like $8.49. I wish I knew what it was called. It says new for 2023. It is, oh, okay, it's $6.49. I am obsessed with this. Obsessed. Look. Oh my goodness, here's a nice full pot of it. Okay, yeah, I cannot get over this. I kind of like this one for some reason. I'm, oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I got so lucky today with the places. Like, that's it. You never know unless you go for it and just explore and try out new things. And 649. Look at this one. Kalanchoe Cuensis. That is the coolest looking succulent ever. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I love the little pup on the end there. Gastonis Bonieri. New for 2023. That's kind of cool how they have it. Like it'll show it's new. Calicoli Flapjacks. I love this one with those colors. Goodness me, they have so many. Um, Sedum Pachyphylum. So cute, so cute. Oh. String of dolphins. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, the blooms on this one. Look at that. All right, I gotta give it a sniff. Oh my gosh, they smell amazing. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Cause sometimes they can be really stinky. Ooh, look at the purple on this. I've never seen it. Normally it's like not up and down like this. They're kind of sideways. What is this? Vertical leaf, Senecio. That is awesome. Wow. And it's so purpley. These are called chalk sticks. Oh, this is that one that looks like ivy, but it's actually a Senecio, so it's like very thick and succulenty. Mini blue chalk sticks. This is like, it reminds me a little bit of Big Bloomers in North Carolina. Yeah, this place kind of reminds me of one of my other favorite spots called um, Big Bloomers. This one says it's new for 2023, but look at the little bloom on there. That's incredible. 
Titan Poses Calcerea. Wow, this one is so pretty. Look at that. Look at this one. Look at this one. <laughs> All right, they have some cactus in here as well. It's nice not to have to rush, so I can just go through. Oh, there's a little bumblebee. Mother of Thousands. Euphorbia. So curious what this is. Sedum Cape Blanco? Oh, doesn't it look like little roses? Oh my goodness. That would be the most beautiful ground cover. <gasps> oh, I like these. Don't they look like little pieces of candy? Oh, this one's so beautiful as well. Sedum Aurora Blue. It does look blue. Oh my gosh, I can't get back in. Look. New for 2023, Peach Pride. This one's really pretty. It has purple on the, like, on the tips. Jet Beads. Ooh, Mistletoe Cactus, Ripsalis. Uwaldiana. Look at that. Rainbow bush. Elephant bush. Pepperomia. Prayer pepper. Interesting. Look at all the little shoots coming out of it. Patchy phytum bractoke. Awesome. Oh my god. I love that. Ooh, ruby necklace with the little yellow blooms. Sedum. No. Oh, I can't pronounce that. They're really beautiful. This is another one that says it's new for 2023. Sedum lucidum. Look how cute these are. <sighs> Mini blue chalk sticks. Golden glow. They do have a few tropical plants, so maybe th these are just the tropical plants. I'll go and explore a little bit more to see. But it says 30% off. They have some, looks like ginger plants and they have some rubber trees back there, some ponytail palms, some snake plants, rubber tree and um, bromeliads. Plant haul time. That was so, like such an exciting, unexpected day. The first place had amazing tropical plants and then the second place had incredible succulents and cacti. So it was a win-win in my book. I had so much fun exploring these two new places and I just find it rejuvenating to like go on these little adventures and, and discover new places. It's just a lot of fun. So I do have a haul and I'm excited to share with you. So what I got from the first place, this is the first plant I got. It's a Pariso Verde Philodendron. It is so beautiful and I got it for $19. Can you believe that? That was the real, I find like the winning area at the first place was the area where they had all of these amazing plants for $19.99. It was like kind of hidden in the back in this one little area and they had Philodendron Gloriosums and like just uh, so many so many beautiful philodendrons that used to be like so expensive. They had BSEAs for $19 They had um, more Shuezi Ioria's $19. Anyways, if you if you haven't didn't watch that part I do recommend going back because it was pretty impressive But look so this beautiful philodendron uh, Preso Verde $19. It's a gorgeous philodendron. It does have these stunning um, variegated leaves and really gorgeous shape as well and it's definitely wanting to climb so I'll give it a little something to climb when I get home and maybe repot this this little guy up um, when I get back to my plant room in Charlotte and I'm just so excited I thought this one was an absolute steal so I do think this one will probably enjoy some light so I may put it under one of my like 
grow lights or something. And I did pick up two succulents that I'm excited to share with you all. This is the first succulent that I got and I just was blown away when I saw it. The leaves are, I mean, they're velvet. They feel like velvet, they look like velvet, they're not spiky at all. And then they have this beautiful purple, maroon, burgundy color on the outside of the leaves and it just looks like a beautiful flower. I can't get over this plant when I saw it. It took my breath away. Like in person, it is such, such a beautiful, um, beautiful succulent and it was $6.49. Can you believe that? This place was insane. Like I will definitely be back to both of these spots that I visited today, but I don't know much about this plant. It said on there that it's one of the new variety, varieties they've added to this uh, greenhouse for 2023. So I just thought it was so beautiful. I'm obsessed with it. Like I cannot get enough of this gorgeous plant and the leaves are, I mean, it is velvet, velvet, like so, so soft. I love it so much. All right, this is the last one that I got and it is a variegated bear paws. And I do have one of these, but these were just so lush and full and they're so cute and I couldn't resist. And I think it was like $8.50 for this really nice sized variegated bear paws. And honestly, the just green ones were so beautiful. I stood there for a while trying to, de de trying to decide if I wanted to get the variegated bear paws or the non variegated because they're so cute but I ended up going with this one because it's just a little bit a little bit more unique and I just love it so much like they're so fuzzy and they're so cute and look like paws and then it has like the beautiful colors and it's just so like made me so happy to look at it and I just thought okay I'll add put another one in my collection so I love it. I'm so happy with the plants I got today. Well, I mean, just so incredibly unexpected. I just got really, really lucky and I'll have both both places um, in my description below. And if you want to see future plant shopping videos, definitely subscribe and that way the episodes will show up in your newsfeed. And we also have a great community on Instagram. All right, I hope you have a great rest of the day and that I'll get to see you soon. Bye.